Yes. But how did you become interested, or why were you interested in helping the people in the community? I like to do that because after I help people, I was so happy, feel comfortable. So whenever they call me, just like my younger daughter say, "Mommy, you always never say no. Why don't you sometimes, if you busy, you can say no?" But I never say no. Whenever they ask me, I would do my best to help them. Oh, I came to New York, nineteen sixty-eight. Of course, I married with my husband Stephen Chen. Immigrate to New York, and then after that, a couple months later, I got a job at Big Man Tang Tang Hospital as accounting. So every two years, I have three kids. <laughs> every two years, I have one girl. <laughs> uh, continually. Up to 1973, I transferred the job to the CBC, Chinese American Council, as a secretary. In the meantime, I learned a lot of uh, social worker from CBC. After all, a couple of years later, I think it's a 20 something years, I transferred to the United 2325. They opened a new daycare at the uh, Christie Street. I transfer over there to to be an assistant and also a bookkeeper. So until nineteen uh, two two thousand one twelve, I retire. But although I'm retired, I'm still busy with the volunteer jobs at one of the downtown hospital. What what we call is the what MIP hospital as the volunteer. So in the meantime, sometimes all my Parents still, old parents, over 20 years, they still have connection to call me, have a cup of tea or something, housing application form, how to feel, I still help them. Right. Our daycare is, uh, you know, it's our daycare is uh, the age from two and a half to five. Actually, they just, the first time to go to school, so I'm not working at the, I'm not a teacher. I'm working in the office. But after I finish everything in the office, I every, in the lunch hour or after the, uh, the, the supper around 30, I will go to the classroom from one, we have four classrooms, from one to other. So they say hello to all the kids, especially for the girls. I will do the hair for them. So they like me. Whenever they cry, they were holding me as a grandma. I comfort them. That's why all my two, all the young kids like to come close to me. I handle them as my girl, all my my kids. I hold them, I comfort them, and talk to them just like a grandma. I'm the oldest one in the daycare center. So that's why. Probably I'm friendly, but sometimes I'm very strict. They sometimes, sometimes they scare me. So whenever they go home, the parents ask them to drink the medicine, they reject it. They will call me, put me on the phone, and talk to the little girl. You had a drink, they take it. So that's a very strict. So a little bit scared of me, some of the children. But they like to come back even when they are teenage to come to visit me. And some of the t uh, kids come back as a volunteer. Or sometimes they come back as a uh, summer youth job. That's why I still have connection with all the old parents. All old children, even they get married, they send me invitation card to invite me to their wedding. Fourteen years ago, the man, Chin's man, one of the president is uh, belong to his friend. He called me, asked me, why don't you we uh, set up a woman club under Chen's family? So I do it with Margaret Chin, 
Marble yeah. Chain, that time is not a um, city, uh, council. Council, city council. City council, yeah. Still a work, uh, uh, employee of the uh, Asian American Legal Service that time. So we set up the Women Club like 14 years ago. So every month, Margaret still come to our meeting. Every, so every month, we I would invite all the specialists just like to come up to have a workshop. For example, how they feel the uh, food stamp, social worker, uh, how to take care of their uh, the wheel, uh, insurance, everything, all the social worker. I will call my connection to, with CBC of course. So ask them the specialized to come up to have a workshop. Sometimes I will call the doctor from the hospital or as the nurse come up to give them some advice, yes. some workshop every month. After I finish the workshop for one hour, so we do have a lunch for all the members. <coughs> Unless we give them a permission, otherwise no men come up. Only women. Yeah. Why do you think it's important for people to come? Why? So because we Chinese, right? We need, we need to come out. Mm -hmm. They even if they are a citizen, they supposed to have a right to vote, right? Oh, okay. Actually, so I'm not interesting. The first beginning, mm -hmm. I was an employee of M uh, CPC. You know the CBC founders Regina Key, she called me. She said, I need you to do me a favor to uh, let me enroll you to the uh, one of the worker, the poll worker for all the election since almost 40 years ago already. So since then, every year I do the rotating, rotating work. Mm -hmm. they, they, nev they never gave me up. Forget me every year. Even I talk to the Lester Chang, I'm not going to do it. She, he said, no, you have to come. You have to go downstairs. Mm -hmm. Even every the, every year, the proof, I do the, the busy table. Because I know everybody in this building. So I'm sitting on the busy so table. You identify them as they come in? Yes, when them. they come in, in enter the door, I know they what's the what's the their, their name, and we'll, when they come up to my table, I show them ask them to sign already. How many people all together in the? Uh, for January, for general election, uh -huh. over six hundred or eight hundred, but only for the primary, oh, wow. only only two hundred, three hundred. That's it. They were the right supposed to be a citizen. They supposed to right to vote. What they want, what they like. And what kind of um, people you want to elect into the government? What kind of people? Yeah. Of course, the people can help the community. And then, do you think the voters, when they come in to vote, do they have different problems or difficulty? And how do you help them to solve their problems? Actually, most of the, some of the seniors doesn't know how to do the voting. I help them. I show it, show it to them. What they do, what, how should they do. They, so whenever they come to voting, they just come to look at me. Where do you sit? I usually sit on the middle of the table. If I'm not there, I went out for a break or went to the a bathroom. <laughs> they will go out. I say, Mrs. Chen is not there. I'm not going to vote. When she come back, I will do it. <laughs> so during the election day, I never go out. I stay there for 15 hours. What you want to say to the next generation? My big girl said, Mommy, I'm proud of you. You can help people. But first of all, you have to think about it. You are, you are getting not too young. You have to watch out yourself first before you help people. That's what they say. 
I say, I'm okay. Don't worry. I can still help people. Okay. They are good girl. They can, they can. I'm the good example. So still, they are still doing in the Chinatown. They can speak Chinese too. They still help people just like I say. I'm my mom is the same. I should do as same thing as my mom, as my daddy. And then, do you think that are there like do you consider yourself a strong woman, and are they strong women too? Mm, and is that good or? <laughs> <laughs> my, my girl said, "Mommy, say number one, say yes. We cannot say no." That's what they say. But how about just for women to um, stand up for themselves to make sure that the moi they have. Yeah, they won't. My free girl is very strong, okay. and I'm strong too. Mm -hmm. Whenever something is not good, I will speak out. Mm 